Hello guys, this is your fitness game reviewer Vivi. Today let's talk about Nintendo Switch Sports, which was released half a month ago and I have just finished the review. My arm really hurt and sore after playing this game each time. I had to rest after playing, so the progress went pretty slow. In today's video, I will show you how this game works and share with you some information and techniques to help you play better in this game. Let's go! Nintendo Switch Sports starts with six sports volleyball, soccer, chambara, tennis, badminton, and bowling. It supports one to four players. Most times, you will only need one joint count to play. You could play locally or online. The content is the same, only difference is the online play requires a pass, and only through the online mode you could level up and unlock more items. Now, let's check out the features of each sport. Volleyball must be the most special one among the six. It needs the players to bump, serve, attack, and block. It's teamwork. If you play alone, you will be paired with a CPU. Although there is a learning curve, it's very enjoyable to play after you get it. Especially to someone like me, who has a strong nostalgia towards Chinese female volleyball spirit and Japanese drama series Moral Attack. The volleyball shoot me back to the time. Chambara is not a daily sport, so it's very unique to play with. You could choose to play with one hand sword, charge sword, or twin sword, but to me, the gameplay is quite similar. Hold down the ZR or ZL to defend, release to attack. Attacking in the direction of the opponent's defense can knock him back. If you successfully defend the opponent's attack, he will be stumped. Then you can make a hit. If you enter the overtime, who makes the first successful attack wins. Pretty intense. I'm very familiar with tennis and badminton, which I played a lot of years ago, and the gameplay is very true to reality. You just need to play as you play the real spots. There are some tricks that will let you do more moves to help you fully unleash your power. I'll talk about the tricks later. In soccer, there are 1 vs 1 or 4 vs 4 games. CPU will fill in the open spot. There are many moves you could do. The 4 vs 4 field is much bigger than 1 vs 1. It will require some teamwork too. You could shout out to teammates for tactic. Within the soccer game, there is a shootout. This is the only place where you will use the leg strap. Bowling has a normal mode and a special obstacle mode. Players need to make the action of bowling to throw the ball. The simulation is not bad, and there is also a scoreboard to make it more immersive as you are in a bowling lane. If you play alone, you will find the pace very slow. Bowling supports up to 4 people, it will be so much fun when there are friends to compete together. Besides bowling, these six sports have three difficulties to choose from. The highest difficulty is quite challenging. You need to be familiar with the gameplay and hidden skills, and you need to use tactics. I have to say, the gameplay experience is really beyond my expectation. It looks like Wii to me at the first glance. I had a very bad understanding with Wii, which people describe as you just need to swing your arms for everything, but Nintendo Switch Sports is different. You need to really imitate the real sports movement. Well, for some occasions you could cheat and you use hand as food movements for soccer, but most of the time it's very realistic. And there is replay to make you feel you are on TV. <laughs> it's cool. I believe you guys want to know if Nintendo Switch Sports could be a workout. Well, the word sports sounds very tempting, right? Actually, the exercise effects are really limited. I know many people say that their arms hurt. My right arm hurt every time after playing, but no matter how well you imitate doing a sport and try to do a squat when possible, most time you just swing arms, rotate the wrist. It cannot compare to do the real thing. It even can't compare to do some fitness games, such as ring adventure or fitness boxing or knockout home fit. But it could warm you up, stretch your body, Body, which is really perfect and it's fun to play. And for the fun, I think play online is better than play alone, but I have a stable teammate to play with. It's better than online battle. I'm so looking forward to play within a team of four local with my friends soon. It's super easy to get started with Nintendo Switch Sports, but learning the hidden skills can make phenomenal progress. There are many skills displayed on the loading interface, allowing you to learn and practice while playing. Other than that, I have picked some tricks that could help you to improve instantly to add on to your solid power, and here it is. 
for badminton, hold down the R could let you do a drop. So then you could switch between a normal hit or a drop to disturb your opponent to let him fall. Then you strike. In tennis, you could pay attention to the timing of hitting the ball. If you hit it a little early or late, you will play inside out or outside in. Rotate your wrist to do a top spin or under spin. And also pay attention to how you stand, one foot in front, one foot in the back, which will help your little friend to be prepared for a forehand or a backhand. And it will also help you to hit more powerful. In volleyball, spiking can have a direction by rotating the joycon a little bit. And also blocking and catching the ball can be adjusted by the joycon to adjust the position of your little guy for a more effective defense. And the key is, if the ball doesn't hit the ground, never give up. Other than the tips, you can also increase the immersion of the gameplay through props, such as using rackets, golf clubs, etc. I saw people attach a Joy-Con on a real racket or an electric mosquito swatter. It's creative, but it's not safe to do so, especially if you don't have a playing ground big enough. Maybe you already bought the props for Mario Tennis or Mario Golf? Take it out, time to sweep the dust. Remember to get this kind of handle with the hole at the top of the Joy-Con because you need to press the ZR or R key. I also bought the Zelda Swap Grip to play Chambara. I will do a review video for the props, please follow up if you are interested. The first time you enter a sport, you will choose to play with the left or right hand, and it will be the default hand. If you wish to balance the store of your arms, you could switch hands in the settings. It's a whole different experience when you use your non-domino hand. You should give it a go. By the way, you know that you could lock the grip to your Joy-Con, right? There is a lock, so you won't slide away and it's very secure and even a little difficult to unlock. The Nintendo Switch sports game itself is $39.99 and the lag strap is the same with Ring Fit Adventure is $9.99. It will only be used in the minigame shootout under soccer, so I don't recommend you to buy the strap just for this. Among the six sports, you've already seen tennis or golf, so it might not be that exciting, but since we is discontinued, so we don't have the similar one arm sports on the market, it's good to have it. And it could be very promising that some people found out through the credits and data digging. Many new sports could be added, such as bicycles, darts, kayaking, gliding, baseball, basketball, dodgeball, etc. Are you looking forward to it right away? Which they could add some mode that requires dual Joy-Con and leg strap. It will take the advantage of the Switch much better. Alright, that's it for today's video. Please comment below if you have more questions for this game or if there are something you want me to test out. Then thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!